company. Ninth Belgian Infantry. Excuse me, sir. We have been sent some Belgians. They will be attached to the 14th Company. Go and see what they look like. Where is your captain? Dead, sir. Lieutenants? Dead, sir. Sergeants? Well, who's in charge here? I am, sir. March with the others. We'll sort this out. All their officers? They were hit very hard in Flanders, sir. 70 survivors from a company of 264. Damn the senior command. I didn't want a Belgian company in the first place. Certainly not one without officers. My company can spare a lieutenant. No company can. I'm not wasting a French lieutenant on a bunch of Belgians. Unless I make a new one. Bring me Sergeant Moreau. <laughs> The Major wishes to discuss something of importance with you. I suggest you make yourself a little more presentable. Think it's for stealing the captain's cheese? No. Stealing the Major's wine? No. Trying to steal the Colonel's daughter? Maybe. Good news and bad news. So what's the good news? I'm not in trouble. They made me a lieutenant. <laughs> That's very good news, Lieutenant Moreau. <laughs> and the bad news? You'll see in a minute. Emil! Give it back! Give it to him. That's an order. I don't give a damn about your orders, Corporal! Stand at attention! Thank you, sir. Who's in charge here? I am, sir. Come with me. I'm Lieutenant Moro. What's your name, Corporal? Defense, sir. Belgian officers will not be arriving for three weeks. Until then, I'm your new commanding officer. What? With all due respect, Lieutenant... Don't argue with me. It's done. Neither of us can change it. So let me get to the point. It's no secret the Belgians don't like the French. Is there going to be a problem? No, sir. What was going on back there with the book? The men are a little restless, sir. That kind of restlessness I don't need. Who is the man with the scar? Is he a troublemaker? There was some trouble in Flanders, yes, sir. What kind of trouble? Well, we were attacking. The machine gun fire was very bad. Our captain, Captain Coat, was behind me. After the enemy retreated, I went to him. He was dead. He was bayoneted in the back. The man with the scar, Jacques, was standing over him. Your captain could have been killed by the enemy, Corporal. Do you trust this man, this Jacques? No, sir, I don't. Inform the men of my command. You are my second officer. 
The scar is my first. Be in the Major's bunker at seven for a briefing. Dismissed. They've placed us under French command. No, no. no. They can do this, you are Belgians. What about our new officers? But they promised. They'll be here in three weeks. Until then, we'll be led by Lieutenant Moreau. You little bastard. You sold us out, didn't you? I had nothing to do with it. The bike harbor he sold us out! Give it a rest. I have my time with you. Our countries have had differences in the past. I recognize that. But now we fight together. You can follow me, or you can follow each other. The first means an orderly attack and a chance of success. Second means chaos and death. You choose. Take your positions. out for stray bullets, Corporal. Wrong way. I tried to throw them some grenades. Those fools, they're right under those machine guns. More grenades! 
We can use them all! I kept one. We've got to get those grenades to them! I don't see how. Because you're not looking. That stone wall. Come on! Far away, we'll never make it. Don't tell me what we can't do, tell me what we can. Give me your grenade. If you don't have cover, you make it. Now follow me. Are we going to attack the chateau? Not until we get reinforcement. Third battle sector secured. Repeat, third sector is secured. Send reinforcements immediately. No one else made it. Second and 14th companies are devastated. How bad are we? 30 dead, 15 wounded. I know what you did out there, Corporal. I know. What are you talking about? Do you have a sore arm, Corporal? Is that why you could not reach me? Too far. I threw as hard as I could. Then you saw like a girl. You're out of your league, Corporal. You're out of your mind. Take your hand off me or I'll kill you. Yes? You could kill a man up close, like this. Maybe you could show me. You've had enough practice. What is this? I don't know about the Belgian army. 
but the French army does not allow fighting amongst itself. One more breach of this rule, I'll have you both shot. Get back to your post, Miss Oliver. It's quiet. Yes, quiet. Now we begin again. I'll see you afterwards, Bernard. Yes, Alain. Hout's name is Sam. I don't know. Mother of God! Young. So did you, a month ago. Come, Copper. Our objective remains the same. The taking of Chateau Le Maisonette. 
Intelligence confirms that the enemy has strengthened his fortifications here and here with additional men. Over a thousand this time. Your valor is beyond question. You must look into yourself to be the best soldier you can be. Good luck to you, gentlemen. Take your positions! Prove your soul, Corporal. Why don't you just shut up and follow the orders? with us. Thanks. Go to hell! I don't want your thanks! You better watch yourself. Lieutenant Moreau suspects you killed Captain Cove in Flanders. Really? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> and what do you think, huh? <laughs> Come on! Keep going! To the Chateau, man! Viva la vie!
Don't! You'll blow up the other end of the tunnel and trap us in here. those men prisoners. I don't like this. How long ago did the messenger leave Copper? 25 minutes, sir. Damn it. We can't hold this position with 30 men. No one can. Sorry about Sergeant Giscard, Lieutenant. He did his duty. The weather is fine today. It reminds me of home. Sir, no matter what happens, I... it reminds me of my wife.
left. What are those? Officer's uniforms. There's a captain for me and a lieutenant for you. They're French. Where did you get them? Don't ask. When the officers who own these wake up, they'll have you court-martialed. They won't wake up, Henri. They are dead. The uh, guards were throwing them out. Now put it on. I hear commissioned officers are treated much better where we are going. Where are we going? We will know soon enough. Oh! Oh! Lieutenant Pierre Blanc from Paris. Captain Francois Tusson from Lyon. At last I outrank you. Maybe I will have you shine my boots, yes? No count on it. new recruit. Maybe this will be the war which does not end. Maybe it will just go on forever. It's a medieval castle on the Danube. More of a dungeon, really. It's where they send all the bad apples. Any ideas? Not yet, but it's only our first day. playing catch. <laughs> My ball. Catch. With whom? With me. Thank you. I'm Captain Jean Bonnet. Lieutenant Pierre Blanc. Captain Francois Toussaint. So, oh, how do you like our vacation resorts? I'm disappointed. They advertised a beach. With bathing beauties. Well, you know Germans always kimping on the extras. What were you doing? Come with me. The new men, Colonel. Captain Toussaint and Lieutenant Blanc. Welcome, gentlemen. Did you get a new measurement? I estimate another 15 feet to the first wire. Now we have two problems. First, we're out of tunnel supports. We've used all the wood available, even bed slats. Any more, and the guards will be onto us. And second, we've run out of places to store dirt from the tunnel. So, it's hopeless to continue. Exactly. There is nothing more that we can do. Men, please. Do you have a solution, Captain Benny? 
We dig the remaining 20 feet in one night. And we dump the dirt right here, on the floor. But what about the tunnel supports? We won't need them. The tunnel will hold together for a few hours. We'll dig in shifts. We'll dig so fast, we'll blast out before the tunnel collapses. Who do you have in mind to do this? Blasting. Me? And anyone else who's up to it? I'll do it. This is insanity. That's what they say about every great idea at first. Ten feet to go. What? Shh. We've gone farther than that. No, this is accurate. I'll take over. It's time, gentlemen. Not you two. You go after these other men. Guards! Good evening, Captain Hines. You look uncomfortable, Benny. It must be that smell, Captain Hines. The smell of Germany, the armpits of Europe. who does not waste time. You arrive here at 4 p.m. 12 hours later, you are climbing out of a tunnel. Remarkable. I have taken measures to limit your career as an escape artist. I don't expect to dig out of isolation, Commandant. Who said anything about isolation? I have arranged for your transfer to the maximum security prison at Dusterstadt. What? Your records show four escape attempts at other prisons and now five. That makes you an incorrigible, Lieutenant Blanc. Wait, but th there's been a mistake. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not him. You're not who, Lieutenant? I'm not Lieutenant Blanc. My name's Henry Defonce. I'm a corporal in the Belgian army. <laughs> and I'm Kaiser Wilhelm. Don't insult my intelligence. Get him out of here. 
I hope you like your new home, Lieutenant. Let me be brief. You cannot tunnel. The castle is built upon granite. If you try to disguise yourself as a German soldier, you'll be shot as a spy. If you attempt to bribe my men, you will be shot as a corrupting influence on German morale. East Castle. So, with the advancements in new technology, the mere packages. Of... Gentlemen, control yourselves. We'll open the mail after the lecture. Introduce yourself, Lieutenant. Hello. I'm Lieutenant Blanc. Have a seat, Lieutenant Blanc. I'm lecturing on medieval military tactics. Why medieval tactics? I beg your pardon? Well, if French and English generals would have studied the American Civil War, we'd have beaten the Germans by now. A bold statement, Lieutenant. Explain further, if you please. Well, that was the first war that armies used modern technology to full advantage. The cavalry charge had become obsolete. Even Ulysses S. Grant realized that the future of war lay not in the open field, but in the- In trenches, yes. Well, you know a good deal about this subject, Lieutenant. But if you are induced to start, you must know a good deal about something else, escaping from German prisons. Do you have plans? We may. You speak with an accent, Lieutenant. I do? Yes. I can't make it out. There was a rumor circulating that the commandant was releasing spies into the prison. Germans impersonating French and English officers. I wonder what we'd do if we exposed one of them. We would kill him. Traitor. Spy! No, wait. He's not German. Who won the World Series in 1912? What? Just answer the question. The Boston Red Sox. He's not German. He's American. Is your rank also fake, Lieutenant? Okay, I enlisted in the Belgian Army. They were the only ones that would take me without asking questions about my age. I'm a corporal. Ah, a corporal. And where did you get the jacket? Did you know you could be shot for stealing it? The previous owner wasn't going to need it. I understand. Come on, let's open our mail. Gentlemen, gentlemen. So, here you are, Jean-Paul. Andre, Etienne. There you are, Yuri, all the way from St. Petersburg. Say, remember, save your string. What are you doing with all this string? A Russian superstition. You put the string from a gift in your pocket and you will get many more. Da. In here, please.
we uh, want to ask you something. What? Are you a cowboy? What? Like in the moving pictures, Americans are cowboys. You are American, so you must be cowboy, no? Well, not really. I can ride a horse, but I... Oh, really? And the lasso? Can you make the lasso and the rope the Bronco Buster? Well, I suppose if I had to... A I... cowboy! <laughs> We want you to make the lasso and rope something. Something really important. Like what? Like that. You're joking. You're not joking. You're out of your mind. You want me to make a lasso and rope that spike? Where am I gonna get a rope that long? How did you get the string from all those packages? Can you do it? This makes things different. New prisoner Dusterstadt is told of the difficulty, the impossibility of escape. I hope these visual aids will make things more clear. Yes, miss. Bastards. You were with them, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Now what should we do? What we always do, keep trying. <sighs> it's no use. Don't say that. Never give up. I'm not giving up. I'm just facing the truth. The commander's right. Right. I won't stand negative talk. The only way out of here is in a coffin. Say we bury some stiffs. Nine, down. What? Get in the boat, he's taking you back. 
But we've got to dig the graves. No more digging, hmm? Go, get in support. What do you mean, no more digging? If we are not going to bury them. If you're not going to bury them, what are you going to do with them? Burn them! Oh! Raised a Catholic, I should say something. Get it over with. Uh, dear God, let this man go to hell. I thought you'd never hear me. Get it out. 
It's still in there. It is not still in there. I can't feel it. You have to operate again. Private, control yourself. Restrain him. Bow! 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 Stop! He's a danger to himself and others. No, he's not. Let me talk to him. Let him go. How are you, Remy? Could be better, my friend. Yes. Is that German? How did you? One of the prisoners. I traded some chocolate. You're a genius. Did the surgeon really leave it in? Remy. Remy? No. They got it out. I don't want to go back to the trenches. They'll send me back if I feel well. So I'm not going to feel well. I'm not going. Really listen to me. You have to let it heal. If you make it worse, they'll find out and you'll end up in front of a firing squad. A food? This a charge! I'm a charge! Together, okay? Okay. I'm all right. Thank you.